Good day to you, sir. Captain Melatesta, Commander-in-Chief of the Barikstad Border Post at your service, madam. My name is Kate Walker. I've been assigned by my company to find a man who was supposed to be living in Siberia. What a peculiar mission. Taking so many risks for such a futile goal. Captain, to my mind, the military zeal with which you insist on guarding this meaningless wall strikes me as equally futile. I should be offended by your words, miss, but I forgive you, because you are young and unaware of the very real dangers lurking in store for us. I need a visa to cross the wall and to continue my journey to the east. They told me that you are the only person in a position to issue such a visa. Indeed. This responsibility is part of my duties. However, I am not currently issuing visas because nobody must venture beyond the wall. And why not? It's far too dangerous, in particular for a lady of your standing who is traveling unescorted. Dangerous? What exactly do you mean, Captain? The enemy, miss. The enemy. I've been observing them for several years through my telescope. There's one particular horseman stationed yonder. He's a scout from the invading enemy army, and he's been spying on us. So I have to be extremely vigilant. He knows that I know he's there, you understand? And as long as I keep my eye on him, he won't dare try anything. Are you sure? Please, take a look for yourself. Is the person who takes care of the gate anywhere around? There is no person who takes care of the gate. Believe you me, ma'am. I have been the one and only guardian of this gate since 1968. That year I took over the position from the late Lieutenant Colonel Malatesta, my own father. In that case, can you tell me how the mechanism works? It sure looks complicated to me. Not at all. It is child's play for anyone who takes the time to work out its surprisingly straightforward logic. And from the looks of your locomotive, it shouldn't pose you any problems. Why do you say that? When I caught sight of your formidable locomotive, I immediately said, Heavens, only Hans Vorlberg could design such an engine. And I know what I'm talking about, ma'am, because he invented the gate's original mechanism. It was his last creation here in Bargstadt. So you know Hans Vorlberg? No, I mean, not personally. I was only a baby when he stayed in Barakstad. My father spoke often of him, and I knew about his inventions. He left very many things behind him. I know. In any case, I noticed that his fantastic knack for inventing has not deteriorated with age. How's he doing? I don't know. In fact, I don't actually know him. I'm searching for him. An inheritance matter. I hope his train is going to lead me to him. And why not? His inventions are always full of surprises. Between the station aviary and this bleak wall, the change in atmosphere is radical, don't you think? It's been a long time since I've been at liberty to judge, miss. My duties forbid me from abandoning my post. Don't mind me if I retire, Captain. Please, madam. My respects. How strange. I can't see a Cossack horseman at all. There's just a dead tree in the middle of an empty plain. That poor captain must have really bad eyesight. Look, broken glasses. If they belong to the captain, then he sure has eye problems going by those lenses. Colonel, sir. Captain, miss. But you have the air of a great officer. Uh, you flatter me, miss. 
Unfortunately, I'm afraid that we frontier soldiers are often forgotten by the military administration. Ah, there's no justice. I sympathize with you, Captain. Let us forget our worries for a moment and have a little drink together in the name of friendship. Uh, it would be my pleasure, miss, but the regulations strictly forbid it. Come on. A little glass of wine never hurt anybody. And nobody need know. Wine, miss? You are putting me in a very delicate situation. Don't deny yourself, Captain. Just a little glass. I assure you, it is excellent. Well, perhaps just a drop. Here's your glass. To your good health, Captain. And to yours, miss. Mm. It's been a long time since I've drunk wine in such pleasant company. I admit, it is excellent. Isn't it? You wouldn't think it came from Barrickstadt. It is made from the Amazon Forest Sauvignon Grape that has been miraculously conserved and cultivated in the station garden. Well, well, well. The university authorities kept that one to themselves. You know, Captain, it is essential that I continue my journey eastwards. Please, don't even think about it. As I've said, it's extremely dangerous. The enemy is spying on us. Perhaps your Cossack horseman isn't quite what you thought. Perhaps it's just a dead tree twisted into a strange shape. You should take another look. You never know. Go on, Captain. Give it a try. No need. A dead tree. That is preposterous. It is the enemy at our gates, miss. There is no doubt about it. But don't you worry. I am here, at my post, to watch over us. It's not the enemy that worries me. It's your eyesight. I saw a pair of broken glasses in your office. Maybe that explains why you see a horseman where there is only a dead tree. What are you insinuating, miss? My sight is perfect. I refuse to let you sully my reputation. Please, Captain. Don't be angry. Miss, this discussion is now over. Look, broken glasses. Good day to you, sir. Captain Melotesta, Commander-in-Chief of the Barikstad Border Post, at your service, madam. I need a visa to cross the wall and to continue my journey to the east. They told me that you are the only person in a position to issue such a visa. Indeed. This responsibility is part of my duties. However, I am not currently issuing visas, because nobody must venture beyond the wall. And why not? It's far too dangerous in particular for a lady of your standing who is traveling unescorted. Captain, I can assure you that your enemy horseman is in fact simply a dead tree. A tree? <laughs> but that's totally ridiculous. I can tell you have never seen a Cossack before in your life. 
How long has this Cossack been spying on your wall? For a long time. Yes, a very long time. But they could attack at any moment. We simply cannot tell. And he's been in the same position the whole time? Cossacks are soldiers, miss. They're capable of great resistance and persistence in the face of adversity. Don't mind me if I retire, Captain. Please, madam. My respects. Oscar, can't you please for- Your request is I don't suppose you can help me get this visa then? Your non Oscar, don't you think- You neglected to find the clockwork winding mechanism- What nerve! And you refused to lend a helping hand. Help that could have been invaluable to me. I agree, Kate Walker. If you weren't so obsessed by procedure, we wouldn't have had a hitch. I am not entirely convinced, Kate Walker. Oscar, please, let's get in the train and leave, can we? Yes, Kate Walker. Give me the visa. Okay. See you later, Oscar. Yes, Kate Walker. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? I feel like I've lost my way a little here. Hey, anything I... I fixed my train, but the wall's still in my way. I can't go anywhere. This whole situation is totally ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Shh, please, miss. You're scaring the birds. There is a gate in the wall, isn't there? The gate is locked. Do you know if the rectors have a key to it? A key? A key! <laughs> it would take quite a key to open a gate like that. Anyway, the wall belongs to the army. That's their business. Because of the enemy, you see. The enemy? What enemy? Don't ever go to the other side of the wall, miss. That would be crazy. Please, believe me. Nobody ever goes there. Ever. I won't disturb you any longer, Mr. Station Master. Welcome to Barrackstadt, miss.
is it you want to know? I must congratulate you for your lecture. You were right. What you heard was only the tip of the iceberg, my dear. But if I... Did Hans Varlberg agree? Now, Hans was no man of... You don't believe in it yourself? Mammoths died out thousands of years. Do you know where Hans might have gone after his stay? No, but I would not be surprised. What would you say about seeing Hans Varlberg again? <laughs> Young lady, you are very kind. <laughs> I'll leave you in peace. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. I don't need that for the time being. Gentlemen, I'm a mm, a bother, which I may add, disturbingly bother. No bother, my dear. I want to express my gratitude. We would also like to thank you for. It was beyond all hope. Allow us to wish you good luck, and see you next year at enrollment time, perhaps. I doubt it, but thanks anyway. Can you possibly miss your insistence? We cannot constantly be at your disposal. We have many. If you don't mind, could. Here we are, busy chat chatting. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. Excuse me. <clears throat> Can I disturb you a second? No. You could be a little bit nicer about it. Keep quiet. In case you haven't noticed, we're somewhere that requires silence and tranquility.
What is it you want to know, miss? I must congratulate- What you heard was on- Did Hans Var- Now Hans- You don't believe in- Mammoths die- Do you know where Hans- No. What would you say about- <laughs> Young- I'll leave you- Sorry? Look! Colonel, sir. Captain, miss. But you have the- Uh, you- Ah, uh, there's no justice. I simp- Uh, it would be my- Come on! Wine, miss? You don't deny yourself- Well-
Here's your glass. To your good health, Captain. And to yours, miss. It's been a long time since I've drunk wine in such pleasant company. I admit, it is excellent. Isn't it? You wouldn't think it came from Barrickstadt. Well, well, well. You know, Captain, it is essential that I can- Please, don't even think about it. Perhaps your Cossack horseman isn't- So be it. I will make this concession to the fairer sex, miss. But it does seem to be quite ridiculous. Incredible. How is this possible? By what strange magic? How could I have been so wrong for so long? The enemy was only a tree. I'm so ashamed. It's not that bad, Captain. It's only human to make mistakes, after all. A tree. Nothing but a dead tree. Pull yourself together, Captain. It's okay. And now I suppose there's nothing stopping you from issuing me a visa? Yes, of course. There is no more danger. All these years. And now the Cossack has gone. There is nothing left to watch. Captain, you should be delighted. From now on, you don't have to stay pinned to your watchtower. Travel can start up again normally. You will be able to resume your regular duties like issuing entrance and exit visas. You are right. I will sign you a visa to cross the wall frontier immediately. A thousand apologies. Here, miss. Thank you, Captain. And keep your eyes open. <sighs> miss, if we could keep this between ourselves, please. For the sake of my honor, you understand? You have my promise, Captain. No point, it's... Here is the visa. I hope it's regulation, my dear Oscar. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? It is regulation. Here is your ticket. Have a good journey, Kate Walker. So. Can we go now? Indeed. We are already very late, Kate Walker. <sighs> Thank you.
Here you go, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. Now, please return to your seat, Kate Walker. Yes, Oscar. Immediately, Oscar. Thank <laughs> you. 